So in this video, I'm doing it specifically for you who has been facing this problem of fonts not being detected whenever you want to install fonts on your Pixel Lab application. So I'm going to walk you through showing you some other steps. Uh, yes, about two, two basic steps which will help you to better install fonts in your Pixel Lab application if you try out this face method and it's not working for you. So the first thing I'm going to download the font. I'm going to show you how to download the fonts from the Dafon website. You open your Chrome browser and uh, I'm going to take a new tab. Once I open the Chrome browser, I'm going to take this plus sign at the top. Then search on the search bar. On the search bar, I'm going to search for the font. The fonts. Yeah, just search for just search for the font and take the search button on your keyboard. It's going to lead to the website. And also ensure you have a perfect internet connection. Don't do this with a poor internet connection. Okay, my screen might be different from yours. Uh, reason being that I'm using mine in a desktop site, so I'm in the desktop mode. That's why I'm, you are seeing this on my screen. But if you are not using yours on your de on the desktop mode, okay, it's okay. So the first thing you are going to do here, these are fonts. These are fonts available for you to download and install them. Uh, let's just take a typical example. You can see uh, download these fonts you are seeing here by taking this download option. Download it directly to your gallery or to your to your uh, file manager. Or simply, you simply come and search for a font here. For instance, you can search for Roboto font as a space to that with it. But for now, you are not going to search for yes. Do what is preferable for you to do. But for this video, I'm going to download these fonts you are seeing here. Taking this download option, it's going to come into my gallery as a zip file. Then I'm going to compress it and let's start the process right away so it has been downloaded i'm going to open my uh, files make sure you use this particular file i'm showing you normally we have a, tape, a second application which you have to use in order to compress your file or to uncompress your file but i don't simply want people to be downloading apps and stored in their phones occupying spaces for nothing that's why we are simply using these files directly okay you open this and go to download once you open this you are going to go to download it's under your download folder that's why it's uh, being stored as a zip file so the first thing you are going to see it's at the top at the first file which you are going to see it under download okay right now this is the name of that font which you have just downloaded this is the name sorry you have too much distraction on my screen but follow up this is the name so you are going to click on it and extract take this extract option that's the normal stage of uh, installing fonts in your pixel lab once you take in, uh, uh, extract you are going to come to pixel lab let me show you this any of these steps, I'm going to show you a good number of steps. So try it out the one which is best best works for you. Okay, on my pixel, I have a new text on the screen. So I'm going to come to this A icon at the bottom and uh, scroll to where I have fonts. Scroll to fonts. Then uh, there's a little modification I'm going to show you here. You're going to come to my fonts. And the first thing you click on this one. Take note. You are going to take note of that of the name of the you just downloaded and uncompressed because you're going to need it here. Uh, let me check the name again. Okay, the name was Season Prime. Season Prime. So, so by taking this, you come to this. Like I said, you are going to take this option, and uh, it's on a download folder, right? So you come to downloads and search for Season Season uh, Season Prime. You are going to look for to scroll down and locate where you have Season Prime font, and then you install it. Let me see. Uh, so yours might not be the same as as this because I'm having so many fonts. I'm having so many fonts installed here. That's why you're seeing a good number of them here. But I'm looking for Season Prime. Okay, this is the name at the, at the bottom, right at the bottom. Season Prime. You simply click on it. Once you click on it, you're going to find a font here. This is a font. If you don't find anything here, know that your, 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 this, this method does not work for you. It cannot work for you. But if you find a font at the, at the top there, you're going to take Add Directory. And it's going to be added to your among your fonts directly, these are the fonts you are seeing here. But if this works, it doesn't work for you, it shows your font has not been detected. You are going to try out the same the second method I'm going to show you now. Uh, still on my files, you click on that files, and the font is right here. Oh uh, let me before I'm before I'm coming to this, let me show you another way. Still on this one. You are going to use now this other second option. I'm going to click on this. Okay, once you click on that, you're going to find something like this. Then you take this menu icon and locate your uh, under is was being stored under your phone. You see the name of your phone here. You take the name of your phone. Yes, right now you can search for season prime here. The name of the phone which you have downloaded. Remember, we are doing this for a case study. It's not exactly what you should download. And take the search at your keyboard. Yes, this is phone appearing here. So you simply click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to be added to among. It's going to be added to your Fitbit lab. This is another second. This is another method of you adding fonts here. But still, yet if this one does not work for you, you are going to follow this next this next method, which I'm going to show you. You open your files, and uh, on this one, you are going to to 
click on this. You are going to click on these three lines here. Sorry. Yes, you are going to click on these three lines. On the name of the font which you have on the three lines. Yes, once you click on the three lines, you are going to move it. You are going to move to another file or to another folder. Move to. Then move to. Now, uh, you are going to put internal storage. Follow this method carefully. Because if you miss out this, you are not going to get it at all. Okay, right now, uh, let's add another name for the folder. Add new folder. Take the new, add new, new folder at the top. Okay, you put the folder name. For now, I'm going to put something like... Uh, I'm going to put this let's get it. Uh, then after this you are going to take you are going to move to folder take move to folder take notes the name of the folder which you have created must not be exactly what I've created here your name must be different from mine okay move to folder yes it has moved to the folder you are going to wait for a couple of seconds for it to be moved yes after moving to a new folder you come back you come back and you are going to come to internal storage at the bottom here. Come to internal storage. You scroll down to the bottom and come to internal storage. Click on internal storage. Right now, you are going to scroll down and look for your name. For the name of that folder which you just created. I just created Let's Keto folder. Here is it. So you click on that. You are going to find the fonts inside. Then you can now uncompress it. Click on it to uncompress. Exactly. Take extract. Extract. And it's going to be extracted. You take note, the folder is uh, that which I've just created, the name which I've just created. Take note of name. So right now you can now open your Pixel Lab application. This last stage I'm showing you must work for all of you. So you open your Pixel Lab application. Yes. Uh, as you have a new text, you come to the A icon as usual and locate your font. You come to fonts and do the same. It's almost a repetition of what we did. So under my fonts, you come to my fonts and uh, see yet you're going to take this one. This one here. It's a lot of distraction on my screen. Okay, so right now you're not going to locate the download again. You're going to locate the name of the folder which you just created. You're going to see it among these options. Yes, this is the one which I just created. The name was Let's Go. Here is it. Once you click on this, you're going to find the name or you're going to find the fonts here. You click on that font. Season Prime. Yes, this is the font. If you click on it again, you're going to find a real font showing now. You can now add, add directory at the bottom. Click on add directory. You see this is the font which has been added again. This is the font. This is the previous one which I. Uh, installed and this is the one which I've just did now. Yes, so uh, let me show you another step. If this does not work for you, you follow this. The least last step it will surely work for you. You are going to come to this one again. Yes, after coming to this one, it's already uh, you see the name of your phone here. So you are going to search for the name of your folder, which is Let's Kido. Yes, you search using your search bar at the keyboard. Yes, this is the name. I simply click on that. When I click, once I click on that, I will see something here. Season Prime. This is the name of the of the font which I just downloaded. Click on it. Yes, immediately click on it. It's going to be added to your Pixel Lab. So immediately you click on it. It's going to be added among your Pixel Lab fonts. Yes, I hope this video really helps you to overcome the challenges of fonts not being detected in your Pixel Lab application. So in this in this phase, uh, if you watch it the first time and you don't understand, you go back and watch it again. You're going to get the real concept and it's going to help you. Thank you.